Susan. The answer was junior college transfer Nate Lawson. Eric Brown reports. In the classroom, Nate Lawson takes care of schoolwork as a business major, but it's major business that Lawson takes care of on the court. Players that have been around the team for years will tell you just how much difference Lawson made in the Lions' amazing turnaround this season. Since I've been here, I don't really think we had, like, uh, like we had guys that had talent to play, like, down low, but just a, a presence down there that demanded respect. Past couple years, that's the one thing we've been missing, is a dominant big man inside. Lawson, a junior college transfer and New Orleans native, helped lead the Lions to their most wins in school history in a Southland Conference championship this season. Lofton led the conference in rebounds and finished second in block shots and winning first team all conference honors. He was named the Southland Conference Newcomer of the Year. At 6'10, 250 pounds, Lofton amazingly led the Lions in steals this year. Well, with the steals, it's really, it's good. It's really good. It's a credit to the team. All these ladies holding my hand, you know. All I do is really just sit in the paint, you know, and just go block to block. My man, they out there hustling and making the plays, and I just clean it up. And if the stat is coming to me, he's made a big difference by simply being a, a effective on the defensive end and offensive end. And he's getting every defensive rebound for us, and uh, that's something we haven't had consistently. After playing junior college basketball in Kansas and Arkansas, where he was named as one of the top 100 JUCO players by Sportsline.com, Lawson made the transition from junior college to Division One quite easily. I knew Nate for probably like a a half a year before he signed. When he got in shape, like, it was just, you know, a matter of time. Like, some guys have a, a hard transition from junior college to Division One, but, man, it seemed like he hasn't missed a beat. I expected him to have a good year. Uh, to, to be able to do all the things that he's done for us, the steals, the block shots, uh, double-doubles uh, on a consistent basis, uh, I, was, I, I didn't expect that. For a team that's never really had a dominant big man, Lofton became the missing piece and the center of the Lions' success with 11 double-doubles on the season. Coach Billy Kennedy recruited Lofton when others didn't. I've been knowing Nate a long time, and I've been knowing his, his high school coach, uh, Coach Como, a long time. And so we've been involved with Nate's life since he was a senior in high school, and that's been four years now. So um, just the fact that he's 6'10", he can play, and, and I knew what kind of character he had. Kennedy's loyalty and persistence landed Lofton and his first winning season in five years as head coach. It was the school's first winning season in eight years. Lofton's energy and emotion on the court translates to plays and excitement for teammates. Whenever we're down, he's always, you know, always helps pick you up and all, all energy all the time. And his energy, you know, he makes you want to play hard. Him down on the court and getting hustled and getting rebounds makes you want to do all that. He goes out, you know, keeping that energy level up because, I man, he does so much like as far as rebounding and defending and getting, you know, loose balls. With the three-year-old daughter and fiance, Lawson feels his mission is simply to take care of his family and graduate from college. It's really important to me, like I said, um, once before, I'll be the first person in my immediate family to get a college education, you know. You know, that's, that's more money on the table to take care of my family. You know? Lawson is so on hard work as the thing that'll take him to the next level. Hard work, you know. Dedication to the program, believing in what the coach is saying, just believing in my teammates, and believing in my son. Because he's got good size and he can do a lot of things, he's going to have a lot of opportunities. Uh, he's got to continue to get stronger and work on his body and his stamina. Um, you know, if he can do that, then he'll have a chance to, to play professionally at some level. Lofton, who made the game winning shot against Stephen F. Olsen on his father's birthday, thanks his family for the chance to play college basketball. One thing helped Lawson focus this season, not looking ahead, but taking care of business one day at a time. You never know when it's going to be the last day. You, know? you can't think so far ahead. You know, you never know what God has for you. Know? Nate Lawson's impact on Southeastern basketball might just be historical. But that impact has just started. One more year of Lawson could be a lofty task for the rest of the South one. And after that, maybe the NBA. Reporting for the big game, I'm Eric Brown. Thank you.